Hello friends, welcome to freepage.com and this is my new project dental clinic management system and I have used the PHP and MySQL for developing this project and for front-end development I have used the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery libraries. So you can see there is a slider image on the home page. So I have used the jQuery library for developing this slider and many of the things, uh, many of the plugins for jpay library which i have used in the project just like for validating the forms for creating the drop down menu so for all of the things i have used in jpay libraries and uh, for database i am using the mysql version 5.5 and the for php i am using the version 7 so you can configure this project on the xamp server vamp server or you can run this project on your mac system linux system or the windows system so there is no uh, operating system foundation for running this project and the, all the image which is available in this project you can change it from the backend panel means just replacing the image on the code that all the image will be changed okay so let's start with the functionality one by one so this is only a single user based system so th there is only an admin login in the system and there is no customer login and admin will be responsible for performing each and every operation just like uh, creating the appointments creating the treatments each and everything uh, has been done by the admin okay so let's start uh, so this is the home page of the project and there is a slider you can click on this uh, buttons for sliding the image and this is the about us page after that the login page and the contact us page so once you click on the login and if you enter the invalid username and password then you will get the message that invalid username and password and you will not be able to log into the system right and this is a totally role based system and all the uh, menus are running from the sessions so you can see this is the there are four menus and if i click on the uh, click uh, if i log in with the admin then all the above menu will be changed according to the admin role and permissions and you can see this is the uh, admin menu so admin will be able to perform these operations so there are a lot of operations uh, which admin can perform and this is the dashboard home about us and the dashboard and then administration so ad admin will be able to add new system users means admin will be able to add more uh, admins and then add new doctors so admin will be able to add new doctors also add new appointments so admin will be able to add the appointments for that doctors and then add new time slots time slot is normally used for the doctor time slot okay suppose if doctor or uh, check the payment for 15 minutes then admin can add a number of time slot uh, from this uh, project so there is an add new patient so this is a patient information patient profession patient address so these are all are the patient details and then add prescriptions patient prescriptions so if patient is coming uh, at the doctor place then admin will uh, so admin or doctor will be able to add the prescription of the payment uh, of the patient so admin will uh, enter the date medicine test treatment and descriptions uh, for the patients and then uh, add patient treatment so what line of treatments uh, doctor is giving to the patient then all the records will be saved here and then uh, the admin patient uh, bills so uh, all the bills uh, for the patient uh, admin will be able to add from here right so this is totally a dynamic drop down so all the patient which you will add in the database all the patient list will be fetched into this drop down and this is the bill type so what type of bill is there there is a patient bill or treatment bill so all type of bill is there and the payment mode the cash payment debit card or credit card so these all are the these all drop downs values are coming from the database and you can change the value into database and it will be reflected here there is no hard coding for this into the code okay so this is the uh, add sections and now report section so this is the system user reports so you can see there is only a system once admin is available you can add any number of admins into the system from that add system user uh, form and then see doctors report so normally there are two three doctors available in the project you can add a number of doctors also and once you click on the edit then you will be able to edit the doctor details from here and then appointment report so these are the appointments and then once i click on the edit then i will be able to change the appointments from here also okay and then time slot report so this is the time slots so admin will be able to 
add or update the time slot from here and then patient report so these all are the patients so uh, from this form admin will be perform the billing uh, you can see the bill details of the patient and the treatment of the patients what line of treatments doctor is giving to him and then the prescriptions of the pay, uh, patient so what are the prescriptions so and we'll be able to update and see the prescription from here and then admin will be able to edit the details of the patient and then admin will be able to delete the patient from here also right so this is the prescription report uh, patient report and then the prescription report so admin will be able to add the prescriptions from here also okay and then treatment reports so uh, what type of line of treatments the doctor is giving to the patient patient all the things will be listed and once you click on the edit then that treatments uh, uh, list will be that treatment details will be displayed here right and the patient bills reports then all the patient bills will be uh, will be displayed here and admin will be able to update the details also from here right and then this is the this is the report section and then there is a my account section so admin will be able to update his or her account details and the calendar section this is the very good sections where admin will be able to see all the appointments on the calendar and if he clicks on the calendar then he will be able to fetch the details of that calendar also just click on this so there are three views of calendar monthly weekly and daily so this is the monthly view so there are two appointments for on 27 there is one appointment on 30 so once he click on the weekly so this is the weekly from 22 second to 28 uh, this is the uh, weekly report of the calendar and this is the daily so now there is uh, today 25th so there is no appointment now if i click on the 27th then there are two appointments now for the doctor so appointment of course with mansa appointment of so there are two appointments here for uh, the doctor so admin will be able to see the calendar for uh, checking the appointments right and this is the change password and then log out so this is the project which i have developed for the dental clinic management system and if you need more feature in this project then post into the comments i will implement those uh, changes in my project and make it more better and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for thanks for watching the video thank you very much mm -hmm.